Hello everyone and welcome to my first drawing video. For today I'll be redrawing one of my old characters. Her name is Saki and I first drew her in 2013. I drew her alongside four other characters and at the time I thought that they looked really great and I was so proud of them. But now looking back four years later I can see a lot of problems with the overall drawing so I decided to give it another shot. I created these characters for a comic that I was working on. I only managed to draw three pages and that was about it. <laughs> Saki was supposed to be this mysterious character that had died before the comic even began, but her ideals and her will was the driving force for the main character and you would get to know her through flashbacks, at least that was my idea. So I guess I should be talking a bit about what I'm actually drawing. And as you could see, I started with a rough sketch and then I made a bit of a more refined still sketch and now I'm working on the final line art I usually draw this way with uh, three layers of lines the first the rough sketch the more detailed sketch and then finally the line art I I've been having a lot of problems with the final line art for digital drawings and a lot of the times I, I make drawings or paintings with a more painterly style where I don't have to bother with the line art and, you know, color over the line art. Uh, but I really love the look of lines, so I would love to, you know, use it more. And here you can see me starting to color before <laughs> I'm finished with the line art and I usually do this because just because I get bored with the line art because I struggle so much with you know making lines on the computer but you know it works I usually draw in manga studio but recently I haven't liked it as much as I used to, so I decided to try out Photoshop again, which I've really not been a fan of for the longest time, but now that I tried it out, it just worked great. And here I'm using reference for the flowers because I tried drawing them earlier and just didn't work out the way I wanted to so I pulled in a bit of reference and it turned out much better. I wasn't satisfied with the coloring of the, the flowers with the, with the cold strong pink that I used for the petals on her cheek but now with this warm light red I was really satisfied I really like these colors and the muted greens on the branch on her head so I think the colors turned out great I didn't followed the old drawing 100%. I tried keeping most of the colors the way they were. Uh, her hair I thought was a bit too pink and I didn't like that. I didn't like the way the, the flowers were colored before. I think I was probably going for that they were supposed to be blue roses but with this fleshy tone because of course they're growing out of her so 
I thought they should look more fleshy, I guess, but I thought for this I'd rather have the flowers look beautiful and vibrant and I think this looks better. I kept the yellow for the dress and the reason I changed the colors of the branches was because I think the finer branches of roses tend to be more green. So for this video I guess I decided to do a bit of a challenge and do the draw this again challenge and I have to admit I do love watching other people draw their old characters or drawings and I think it's a lot of fun. I haven't done it much myself, but this was actually really fun and now I feel like maybe I can even use this character for the story I'm working on right now. So as this is my first video, I would love to hear what you guys think and what you would want to see. And I would also love to hear about you guys and do you have any original characters and if so if you would want to share them then I would love to see them maybe link your DeviantArt or Instagram or whatever I would love to see what you guys make and that's about it thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the drawing and I hope to see you here next time. Bye!